What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am super excited because the guys over at Retroflag, who are responsible for the best console style cases for the Raspberry Pi, sent me one of their brand new G Pi cases. Now this isn't any ordinary Raspberry Pi case. This is a fully functional Game Boy powered by a Raspberry Pi Zero or a Zero W. Now you're gonna have to provide your own Raspberry Pi Zero and SD card. They will have full instructions on setting it up and as soon as they release that, I'll be doing a full tutorial video. Make sure you check the description because as of making this video, there is no word on price or release date. Now the word on the street is April 21st. They've gotten some feedback on what the price should be and I told them if they could keep it under 100 bucks this will be an awesome seller as soon as this is available for purchase i will be adding it to the description i'm also going to throw it out on facebook instagram and twitter so make sure you're following so you can be up to date when this thing releases because it's going to sell out quick this thing is absolutely beautiful it's a bit smaller than the original game boy we have four face buttons here a b x y we also have a d-pad start select and when flipping the unit over, we also get an L and R button. Now it is part of the case itself. They're little hinged buttons, but they're very accessible. On the bottom of the unit, we get a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for headphones. And on the right hand side, we have a volume rocker to control the volume of the unit itself. Plus we have an SD card cover. So the SD card will be accessible from the outside of the case. Power switch on the top, and when everything's installed correctly, this will safely shut down. It's not going to shut down immediately as soon as you turn that off. It's going to run its script and shut the unit down safely so you won't corrupt that SD card. On the left-hand side of the unit, we can control the contrast of this IPS LCD screen. Now, they don't state anywhere that this is an IPS screen, but I've seen many of them. I've tested many of them, and I can tell you right now that this is using an IPS display. The screen is 2.8 inches with a resolution of 320 by 240. We also have this removable cartridge on the back and inside of this cartridge is where our Raspberry Pi Zero or Zero W will sit. It's a very ingenious design and it's super easy to assemble. Speaking of assembly, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi Zero or Zero W. I also have some AA batteries here and it might seem a little odd for you guys to see these AA batteries in 2019, but this runs on three AA alkaline or rechargeable batteries. There's plenty of room in this battery compartment to add a rechargeable lithium ion or lithium polymer battery, and I will have a tutorial on that coming up soon. So basically, when you get the kit, you're gonna need an SD card, a Raspberry Pi Zero, and three AA batteries. Inside of the box, you also get your screwdriver for assembly. You can swap it out for a Phillips or a flathead. And one of the most important parts is this tiny little ribbon cable here. This has a micro USB on one end and then a proprietary connector on the other. This is what's going to power that Raspberry Pi inside of the cartridge. Speaking of that, we're going to go ahead and remove it now. It's just such an awesome design. The SD card will be accessible. When we pull this thing open, we'll notice this custom PCB. It has these spring-loaded pin connectors that are going to make contact with the Raspberry Pi Zero's GPIO pins, which in turn will power the Pi, send audio to the speaker, and video signal to the LCD inside of the Game Boy. The kit also comes with easy to follow full instructions, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing together. First thing we need to grab is that little USB ribbon cable. We're gonna plug it into the micro USB port on the Pi Zero marked USB. Once we have that in place, we're gonna mount this into the cartridge. They've provided these little brass standoffs and they're a little bit of a pain to get in here, but you should be able to do it. You can't magnetize them because they're brass, so you'll have to do this by hand, then we'll tighten them down. Once we have the Raspberry Pi mounted, it's time to grab the custom PCB. We're just going to place it right on top of the Raspberry Pi. It's going to make contact with those spring-loaded connectors to the GPIO pins on the Pi. And we'll want to insert the ribbon cable. Before you put the back on the cartridge, make sure you put the SD card cover back in. And from here, we're going to put the back on. And as four screws, we're just going to tighten them down. Like I mentioned, I will do a full tutorial on setting up the software as soon as it's publicly available. So I've already got all my software set up. I've inserted my three AA batteries, turned the power on. It's going to boot up, and this screen is beautiful. Like I mentioned, this is an IPS display, even though it's not mentioned on their website or in the manual. Since this is running a Raspberry Pi Zero, we're kind of limited on what we can run on here, but if you want to do Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, some SNES games, NES, old 2D arcade games, Neo Geo runs pretty decently on here. You also have Neo Geo Pocket, and there's tons of others that'll run well on the Pi Zero. But don't expect to run N64 and PS1 at full speed on a Pi Zero. That's what we're working with here. 
Now it's time to test out some games here. First up, we're going to go with Sega Genesis, otherwise known as Mega Drive in other parts of the world. Here we have Sonic 2. The volume on this thing is great. Now I do notice a little bit of static here and there, but over time this could be fixed with some software tweaking, or maybe not. But like it sits, it's not as bad as other custom Game Boys that I've tested. Retroflag put a lot of thought and effort into this thing. The D-pad and buttons feel great, and as you can see, the screen is absolutely beautiful. To exit back into Emulation Station, just press Start and Select, and I'm going to move over to some NES. Here's one of my favorite SNES games, this is Hagani, and it seems to be running pretty steady here, but I do notice that we're not at a full 60 FPS, and that's all to do with the Raspberry Pi Zero. And this wouldn't be Game Boy without some original Game Boy games. Here's Kirby's Dream Land 2, and we got that beautiful green palette. It looks really good on this little screen. And the game that everybody had on their original DMG, Tetris. All I can really say about this thing is Retro Flag knocked it out of the park yet again. I thought that their last case they released, the Mega Pi case, Genesis slash Mega Drive clone, was the best thing they were going to come out with. When I was contacted by Retro Flag about a month ago, telling me about this case, I was really skeptical. I didn't know what they had in store for us, but they really delivered with this one. If they can keep this at or under $100, this is going to be an awesome buy. I guarantee you that this thing is going to sell out within a few minutes on Amazon and their website. And as soon as it's available, I will post links in the description on Instagram and Twitter. I'm in talks with Retroflag right now, trying to get a hold of a couple of these so I can do a giveaway on them. And I will have a couple more videos coming up very shortly. I want to do a battery mod so we can add a rechargeable lithium ion or lithium polymer mod. And when all the software and scripts are available, I will do a full tutorial setting up an image for this thing, specifically for the GPI case. I also understand that some of you are going to want to see a full teardown video, so I'll go ahead and get that made up. But if there's anything else you want to see running on the GPI case or anything else related to this Game Boy case, let me know in the comments below. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I've tested a lot of these custom Raspberry Pi Zero powered Game Boys, and I can tell you right now that this is the best one I've ever come across. The build quality is top notch, the buttons are spot on, and the screen is absolutely beautiful. So if you've been interested in picking up a Raspberry Pi powered Game Boy, I would hang on, wait for this to release, we're going to check the price out. Like I mentioned, when everything's available, I will be posting it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Definitely check back regularly because we got a release coming up on this thing and you really don't want to miss it. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.